Welcome to This Week in APD News. My name is Officer Josh Jefferson, and I'm currently assigned to North Patrol. Chief Will Johnson served as the guest speaker for the 29th Annual Outstanding Student Recognition Banquet hosted by the Rotary Club of South Arlington. This event celebrated the accomplishments of several Arlington Independent School District students that are graduating this spring. Many will go on to college with scholarships. AISD Superintendent Dr. Marcelo Cavazos explains the purpose of this celebration. Sure, it gives us an opportunity to recognize students, the top students of each high school selected by the high school with their own criteria, the top students and their performance and their uh, contribution to the school environment. And so this opportunity gives us a chance to recognize them, their accomplishments and their parents and honor them in a way that's special because we know that these students have given so much to our schools and our school district this is a small way that we recognize them tonight. Sure. We have a, a very good partnership with the Arlington Police Department. We have a, a seamless relationship and very good communication. And so uh, we're proud of the fact that Arlington ISD and the Arlington Police Department uh, collaborate on many different initiatives. I would be remiss as a police officer, as a chief, to not bring this up. And as a parent, two daughters, to not bring this up. Focus on what will get you kicked out of school. Because if you're not aware of what can get you kicked out of school, then you don't know what the dangers are, what can derail your dreams, what can take away your aspirations. Hi, my name is Kiki Racinos, and I go to Arlington High School. I feel very blessed from everything, from God giving me this gift, from my parents who raised me from the beginning, you know, driving me everywhere around, and from my teachers helping me out the way, and then from my teammates also who helped me through high school. So I just feel honored and blessed being here tonight. Um, I plan on going to Stephen F. Austin um, in Nacogdoches, and I plan on studying environmental science. West District officers hosted several kids from an after-school program called the Kids Club. This is a partnership between the Willows Two Apartments Complex and Arlington Police Department, which occurs every Tuesday afternoon. This program assists kids with staying out of trouble and keeping them on a positive path. Officer Brittany Winkler and Dylan Haven are regular officers who pay visits to this outreach effort. APD hosted our first ever Tweet the Chief event with Chief Will Johnson. We believe that the conversations and dialogue that occur in our virtual neighborhoods help reduce crime and the fear of crime. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Arlington PD for future events and our award-winning Tweet alongs. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. This past Sunday, April 7th, APD participated in a pinwheel project, which is an annual event sponsored by the Alliance for Children. The beautiful display had 323 pinwheels placed in front of our police station to represent child sexual abuse victims in Arlington during 2012. Overall, in Tarrant County, there were more than 5,000 victims of child confirmed abuse cases last year. Let's go out to the field where Arlington Deputy Police Chief Jennifer White and Fort Worth Police Chief Jeff Halstead spoke at the event. I, I pray and I hope that as a state and a community we will continue to dedicate the needed funding and resources to help heal these innocent victims and to incarcerate really and truly the most heinous criminals in, in all of our society. It is an absolute privilege to lead this organization but to also be a voice for all of our children to stand up for them because our investigators and our detectives and the prosecutors and all those that work collectively with the service providers is probably some of the toughest jobs in law enforcement, but it's an absolute calling that many of those leaders have to serve with these families, to work so diligently on their cases for these children, but also to make that effort successful in the prosecution relationship. All these efforts highlight the need for prevention and awareness efforts to stop the child abuse. We spent the day with Arlington Detectives and Crimes Against Children Unit. Okay, I'm Sergeant Rico Lucero with the Arlington Police Department. I'm over the Crimes Against Children Unit. Um, we investigate all physical and sexual abuse perpetrated against children. Working these types of uh, physical and sexual abuse cases perpetrated on children um, is extremely difficult, uh, both emotionally and psychologically on, on persons involved in the offense, but on detectives as well. Um, we work extremely closely with partner agencies, um, including Cook's Children's, CPS, uh, the Alliance for Children, 
uh, in the DA's office. Uh, Hello, I am Sergeant Christopher Cook with the media office. With me today is Shelly McMillan. Good morning. Hello. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Alliance for Children. Okay. I am the director of Centers in Education, um, and I've been here for about five and a half years. Um, so we have three centers in Tarrant County, the one here that we're standing in Arlington, and we have one located in Fort Worth and in Hearst. So I just kind of oversee all the daily operations of the center. What is the actual purpose for the Alliance for Children? Why were y'all started? You know, what's really your, your role and your mission here for our community? Okay. Um, the Advocacy Center model was started to bring all the professionals who are involved in child abuse investigations together. Um, we're kind of that coordinating piece. Um, so before us, if you, we're, we actually are celebrating our 21st um, anniversary this year. So if you go back before that, 25, 30 years, you've always had child protective services, making sure kids are safe in the home and things like right. that. You've always had law enforcement doing the criminal aspect. What you've not always had is the coordinated effort kind of between those two parties. So um, we partner with them as well as well, 16 local law enforcement agencies, including Arlington PD, um, and also Child Protective Services, like I mentioned, Cook Children's Medical Center, and then the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office. So we really want to take that child so that they don't have to be interviewed by multiple um, organizations kind of multiple times. So we take them all the, the way from really when an outcry of abuse has happened through the investigative process, and then we follow through with what's called our healing services. So we do case management, uh, group and individual, individual therapy. So we really just want to support the child victims as well as their protective caregivers. Well, the multidisciplinary unit is uh, the team concept is very important, especially when it comes to issues relating to child abuse and neglect because it's not just one instance. Uh, there are family dynamics, there are dynamics that involve law enforcement, uh, mental health issues. So when the team comes together and talk about, talks about each individual case, it, the ultimate goal is to do what's best for the children. So when we all come together in one meeting and speak about uh, the various aspects of the case, in the end it will be most beneficial for the child. Ms. Minton, tell our followers really what the role is with the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office and how important it is for this collaboration for all these groups to come together to ensure successful prosecution of these, these horrible cases that uh, this unit deals with. The Tarrant County District Attorney's Office is just one part of a multidisciplinary team. Um, we come together as agencies to staff cases and collaborate on better ways to gain evidence, um, ensure child safety, and hopefully make better investigations so that we have more successful prosecutions and better outcomes both for these kids and for the cases. Ms. Ryle, thanks for joining us today. Uh, just a quick question for our viewers out mm -hmm. there. What role does Child Protective Services have when it comes to these types of investigations that quite frankly involve many, many departments and many agencies? Mm -hmm. A lot of the cases that we work here at the Alliance for Children as part of the multidisciplinary team do involve Child Protective Services. We're involved if the perpetrator on one of these cases is a member of the household, whether they're a parent, a relative, or just live in the home. So any case involving one of those parties would involve Child Protective Services as well. And we work as a team with law enforcement. The criteria of the cases we get here typically do involve law enforcement. And so we work with law enforcement and the Alliance for Children staff and the District Attorney's Office and Cook Children's Hospital as a team to make sure that the children' needs are met, the family's needs are met, and at the end of the day, the children are safe. Good morning, I'm Detective Donna Hubbard with the Arlington Police Department. I've been with the department for 28 years, and for the last 10 years, I've been in the Crimes Against Children unit. As far as how the unit works, uh, we can get our cases in many different ways. Uh, one of the biggest ways is when a patrol officer goes out and actually meets with a citizen and takes a report uh, while out on the streets and then it is filtered down to us uh, for investigation. We can also get cases from Child Protective Services. Uh, we can get cases from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Um, that's the majority of where our cases come from. The investigations vary uh, and, and they're different because there's so many different aspects that have to be covered uh, and that's where the multidisciplinary uh, aspect comes in. Uh, we have to deal with Cook Children's Hospital, we have to deal with CPS, uh, we have to deal with um, the police department, the, the prosecutor, the DA's office. 
so as far as the investigation, um, we're, we're going in many different directions to uh, cooperate everything and put the investigation together. Typically so. what happens is CPS or law enforcement is going to receive a case concerning a child making some sort of disclosure of sexual abuse or physical abuse in some way. Once that referral has been received by either of those departments, then a, then a forensic interview is, to, is set up for that child. Once the forensic interview is completed, the child, um, if need be, will be taken to Cook Children's Hospital for some type of medical exam, whether that be a SANE exam or a medical exam due to physical abuse. After that, um, the family is met by each of the Department of CPS and law enforcement to find out what else needs to be done concerning the investigation. Services are also offered by Alliance for Children for the family for counseling or any other needs that, be, that need to be met. Thank you for tuning in today. We hope the show provided some valuable insight into the unique partnerships of how these crimes are investigated. Our children are the most precious gifts in our community. We have to do everything we can to keep them safe. Don't forget to join our conversation 24-7, 365.